Hi there, I'm Bobby McCutcheon from the Williamsburg County Library. I wrote a story last week after we had visited a cotton field and the cotton gin. This is the story and I hope you'll enjoy it. It goes like this. Cotton everywhere. And you might have noticed it looks like this around our neighborhood right now. Even the rows have cotton on the sides. There is cotton everywhere. This is called A Visit to the Browns Cotton, A Visit to the Gills, and Mr. Trado at the Humphrey Coker Cotton Gin. Down here I should show you too. It says, text, photos, and illustrations by Roberta McCutcheon and Ladson McCutcheon. Visit the Williamsburg County Library YouTube channel to view our video of the visit to the Humphrey Coker Seed Company which will be posted soon. And the video was made by Kimberly Matthews, the Williamsburg County Library's Children's Services Librarian. Page one. Cotton here, cotton there, cotton everywhere. All over the county in farmer's fields, there's cotton. It looks like fields of snow. I decided to find out all I could about cotton at least how the farmer harvests it and takes it to the gin. Then I want to know what happens at the gin. Well, I need to know what the word gin means too. I looked that up. It is short for engine because machines are used now to process cotton. People don't remove the seeds by hand these days. Back to the cotton field. The cotton plants grew all summer long. Now they look like this, with the leaves brown and falling off. The white cotton parts, called bowls, not balls, but bowls, are, whoopsie, I lost it. Not balls for some reason, I don't know why. They're all over the plants. These bowls are soft and hide in the seeds inside them. The bowls are the fruit of the plant, kind of like an apple. Inside of it is the fruit of the apple tree. Well, you understand. I hope you do. That means the seeds are inside that white part and they have to get them out. The cotton plants look like this up close. Each little cotton bowl came from something that looks like this. See the little cotton poking out? When all the cotton plants are all grown up, it's time for the farmer to harvest the cotton bowls. This is how that happens. It's very interesting, indeed. Since I was already in the field and Mr. Brown's really huge equipment was in the field and a very nice young gentleman, was there, who knows all about cotton and farming was there, I asked him many questions. I learned a lot about cotton, I must say. The gentleman told me this machine, right there, that big machine, is called a cotton picker. The cotton goes in the front, then the cotton is rolled up in here and comes out the back of the cotton picker wrapped in pink or yellow or blue plastic. This cotton picker makes rounds, as you can see. That's called a round. We learned about that too. A very big green tractor driven by the gentleman who talked to me picks up the rounds and takes them to another place in the field. The cotton picker and the tractor have a lot of work to do until all the cotton is out of the fields. I should mention that some cotton pickers put the cotton into something called a module builder that makes conventional modules rather than rounds. They look like big rectangles. You'll see these later. Can you see the rounds waiting for the truck to pick them up and take them for the gin? We can go to the gin too to see what happens there. Okay, let's go. Humphrey Coker Seed Company is a cotton gin where the cotton comes to be ginned. I don't know how ginning works, but will soon because Mr. and Mrs. Gill and Mr. Trado said they would teach me all about it. I needed to know what the word gin means. I looked that up. It's short for engine 
Machines are used these days to process cotton. People don't have to remove the seeds by hand from the cotton. The gin is very helpful. The gin yard looks like this. Do you see all the cotton getting ready to be gin? You see the rounds there and the rectangular conventional modules here. The whole yard now is filled with cotton. Everybody's bringing it to the gin. There are all kinds of shapes here. Cotton in rounds and cotton in conventional modules, which are rectangular in shape. Each round weighs 5,000 pounds. Each conventional module weighs 20,000 pounds. That's a lot. There's cotton in rounds and cotton in conventional modules everywhere, covered in pink, blue, and yellow, a special kind of plastic waiting in the gin yard, each one marked with the farmer's name. Many, many of them. This is Mr. Trado, standing by a roll of cotton. It's huge. Then he showed us a truck unloading some cotton. The truck has big chain conveyors on the floor and can load or unload the conventional modules or the rounds. This is definitely not a regular truck at all. Next, we went to the gin to see what happens there. It was amazing. I guess you want to know what the inside of the gin looks like. And here we go. Here they're unloading a truck onto this big platform. It's getting ready to go into the gin. So here it is waiting. All the machines, so many machines, I couldn't keep up with all their names. A module seeder, inclines, more cleaning with heat and air. A gin stand, a gin cleaner or two. A seed scale, a sample grater, a bale presser, a bagger, a, a strapper. Huge pipes running everywhere, even under the floor. Air is even pulled through the seeds. Mr. Trado knows what all these machines do and knows all their names. I got kind of lost, but here are some of the pictures of them. You can see what I mean. I need to tell you it was very loud in there too with all the machines. Can you see how big these machines are? A person would come up about there. These are huge. When the cotton is all done, it looks like this. When the seeds are all done, they look like that in Mr. Trado's hands. Did you know that cotton is used in many things, even in dollar bills? Every bit of the cotton fibers, the seeds, and even the waste is used. Every minute the cotton is in the gin, people are taking care of it to make sure it's okay. It's a big responsibility. When you put on your cotton t-shirt next time, you can think of the cotton farmer who grew the cotton for it and think of the cotton gin and the workers there. Thank you everyone at the Brown Cotton Field and at the Humphrey Coker Gin for teaching me about cotton. It was wonderful. Now you can come in and draw this cotton t-shirt. For a copy of this to take home with you, come to one of the Williamsburg County Libraries and pick it up. Thank you. We'll talk later. Bye-bye.